Firewatch is a first-person adventure game developed by Campo Santo. Players step into the shoes of a middle-aged man named Henry, who has taken up a job as a fire lookout in a Wyoming national park after facing a personal crisis. Immediately after hiking to your watchtower, you will be greeted by your supervisor Delilah via a walkie-talkie. This walkie-talkie is what drives Firewatch as a unique experience. Traditionally, in adventure games, examining an item or location has the player character talk to themselves. What the two-way radio now allows is for the protagonist to bounce their ideas and thoughts off of another character, essentially adding a natural way to have conversation in a game of this genre. In terms of gameplay, Firewatch doesn't really contain any puzzles or roadblocks. It would be fair to call it more of a walking simulator or interactive movie, as opposed to an adventure game. For this reason, it's important that the dialogue is done well, and thankfully Campo Santo has done a great job here. The conversations between Henry and Delilah feel very natural, both in the words they use, as well as the topics of discussion. Not once in my playthrough did I think, who talks like that? Adding to this, the voice acting on both of the primary characters are done incredibly well, augmenting the experience even further. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it! The story itself, without going into detail, is very grounded in reality. Almost mundanely so. Which some people oh, will love or hate. Throughout Firewatch, you'll essentially go about the duties of a fire watchman. For example, right at the start of the game, Delilah notices some fireworks going off in the distance and sends Henry to investigate. As far as gameplay is concerned, there isn't a whole lot to discuss. You will walk from point A to point B on a largely linear path, without much to explore outside of a few supply boxes, which often contain some notes. The meat of the experience, as mentioned earlier, is the natural banter between Henry and Delilah. For this reason, by the end of the game, I couldn't help but feel like Firewatch would have ultimately worked out better as a movie instead of a video game. What really drove this feeling home for me was the really short playtime. Even with exploring what I could, the game only took two and a half hours to beat. To add to this, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of replay value outside of choosing different dialogue options, which likely don't alter the plot in any meaningful way. Firewatch, while somewhat refreshing due to the well-written dialogue, is likely to be considered overpriced for many people, and rightfully so. $20 for a 2-3 to three hour experience is asking for too much. The experience isn't bad by any means, it just isn't a great video game. Those that are interested would likely be better suited waiting for a sale. Though as far as interactive movies go, Firewatch is probably one of the better options.